if you look at the history of Jesus, it was hundreds of years later before he was recognized, and that's probably the same thing that's going to happen to Donald Trump. When you see him, the presence that he has in the room, the way he kind of commands the crowd and the I way that he... I think he's been picked by God, yes. Yeah. He wears lifts. He wears lifts in his shoes. He wears um, a lot of makeup. He wears a girdle for to hold in, you know, his belly. Is that something, you know, God would do? First off, if you knew anything about the apostles, yeah. okay, they were pretty much all trash. All right, they all had their bad qualities. And even Jesus was dating a hooker. The circus is in town because apparently Trump is trash, but also God. Four words, hyper-partisan mental flexibility. It truly amazes me how these people can hold two contradicting beliefs at the same time. But he's not alone. Just watching this next clip of equally crazy, if not more crazy people. Do you feel like Donald Trump is in some way God's chosen one as a candidate? I do. I think he's been sent from above. He was put in here for a reason. I pray to God every day. I pray every morning and I do thank God for, uh, uh, I, I, I thank God to put his hand on, our, on Donald Trump and, and give him the right directions to lead this country and to be a leader of this, you know, in our country. So I, I believe he is. I believe there, he is a gift from God that's trying to save our country. I do believe it. Trump is legit the most ungodly person ever. Remember grab women by the P word? The Stormy Daniels sex scandal? Or him saying that he would date his daughter Ivanka if he wasn't her father? Gross. But these responses are the work of the right wing establishment propagandic machine to paint Trump and other right wing politicians as deities to be worshiped, not politicians to be held accountable. But if Trump is trash, but also God, then he can do no wrong. And anyone who challenges him is thereby sinning against God. This is the culmination of bad faith, deceptive Christian propaganda on conservatives. They now flat out deny the separation of church and state in our constitution. The church is supposed to direct the government. The government is not supposed to direct the church. That is not how our founding fathers intended it. And I'm tired of this separation of church and state junk that's not in the Constitution. It was in a stinking letter and it means nothing like what they say it does. Homegirl needs to check her prescription or she just doesn't know how to read. Because if she did, she would know that the separation of church and state is literally in the First Amendment of our Constitution where it says, quote, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. But many right-wingers, they don't care what's true. They don't care what's in our constitution because if it doesn't align with their strictly Christian nation views, then they're just gonna throw it out. Even if it's our US constitution, they're just gonna deny it. These people think that Trump is God or chosen by God, even if he's trashy. And this is what is so dangerous. If these Christian MAGA morons gain power, anyone who does not conform to their narrow bigoted worldview is seen as sinful and thereby must be eradicated. They're already doing it with trans people and LGBTQ folk. So we can laugh at the fact that they're calling Trump God or chosen by God, but we also must take them seriously and fight against their anti-American worldview. And that is all today. Thank you for joining me. My name is Scott Johnson. You can find more of me on my YouTube, which is in the description below. I just posted a new video. Also, you can find me on TikTok and in the description below. It's pretty awesome. And most importantly, do not forget to smash that subscribe button to the breakdown. You know you want to.